going to demonstrate how you install FB DIMM memory modules into an Apple Mac Pro system. Begin by removing the side door of the Mac Pro. If you turn the cover over, Apple has shown on the silk screening here on the side of the door uh, exactly how you add modules and in what order. It's a very specific order how you go about adding memory to the system, so we need to follow those directions exactly. The Mac Pro has two memory riser cards, each with four memory slots on them for a total of eight memory slots in the computer. On each card, the slots are arranged as two banks of two slots each. The computer comes with a minimum of one gig of memory modules installed as 512 meg chips, and they're fully buffered dual inline memory modules, or FB DIMMs, that are already in two of the slots. You can add additional DIMMs in the open slots as long as you follow a couple of rules. They, number one, need to be the exact same size and from the same manufacturer, and if you're buying a set of memory from OWC or Apple, they will be a matched pair. The other thing is they have to have a specific type of heat sink on them. This is a larger heat sink than we've ever shipped for any computer, basically, and it was designed specifically for the unusual thermal dynamics of this system. Begin by removing the first riser card. This is riser card A. The lower one is riser card B. And all you need to do is gently grasp the front of the riser card and pull towards you. There are holes in the riser card. And I'll show you the Apple modules. These are two 512 meg modules installed from the factory, and they also have a very large oversized heat sink installed. Now, if you want to add just two memory modules, you actually need to go to riser card B, and you match up the slots from the top slot. And we have the top going to, to the bottom card B, open up the memory clips on the sides of the card, and you want to install memory into DIMM slot 1 and 2 to match up with what riser A has. Simply insert the memory modules, and all you have to do is line up, make sure that the little notch in the memory is in the correct orientation, push straight down, do the same with the next chip, once they lock in place like that by pressing straight down, you can install the riser card back into the machine. And we've just added two 1 gig chips, bringing the total to a 3 gigabytes in the entire machine. Now we're going to add two more. Go back to riser card A, and you would populate slots 3 and 4 in riser card A. Doing the exact same thing as you did in the lower riser card and slide the riser card back in and seat it in fully. Now if I had two more chips, you could add two more here. But follow the directions that Apple has on the door. Factory memory is already installed. Add two more to riser card B for the next set. Add two more to riser card A for the third set. And then do the same if you wanted to add a fourth set, filling up all of the eight slots. Reattach the side door panel and you're all set. That's how you install memory into an Apple Mac Pro system.